people are leaving by the tens of thousands. Jose Velasquez says life in Puerto Rico has gotten so hard, its economy so crushed by $72 billion of debt that 50,000 islanders have already bailed to look for work on the mainland. The islands closed hospitals and schools, raised sales taxes, laid people off. But a third of every tax dollar here goes to pay interest on their debt. The impact, where 46 percent of folks already live below the poverty line, is catastrophic. Right now, I have my own nephew who is working at Wendy's in North Dakota. Even those who come to Florida now are jobless when they get to Florida, and they're living in their cars. For every individual that migrates here, they're going to look for services. This is going to impact our safety net. Well, I have family there still, and you know, when they have a problem, I have a problem. Assemblywoman Annette Kehano joined a roundtable of New Jersey community leaders looking for answers. One bipartisan option, the so-called Promesa bill, passed the House in a landslide June 9th. It spends no tax dollars on bailouts, appoints an oversight board to restructure Puerto Rico's debt, but doesn't let the local government seek Chapter 9 bankruptcy protection. Some promises are like Band-Aids. We need more than just a promises. Uh, the people of Puerto Rico are in pain. The roundtable participants see Promesa as a promise unfulfilled. It really doesn't guarantee that the island of Puerto Rico is going to have any representation on this oversight board. Uh, it creates the possibility of eliminating uh, minimum wage and overtime uh, protections uh, for Puerto Ricans. And lastly, it has no provisions to try to create growth. Senator Bob Menendez sponsored a different bill to help Puerto Rico pay back its debt, and he'll try to amend the House bill as it heads for a vote in the Senate. We want to create access to the bankruptcy code to reorganize, which means that they'll take their creditors and they'll sit down with them and say, look, you know, you're going to have to extend the time period in which we pay you. You may not get 100 percent on the dollar. You may get 80 percent on the dollar. But this happens all of the time in other institutions. But six New Jersey representatives voted for the Promesa bill, including Tom MacArthur. Well, look, no bill is perfect, and every bill is the result of compromise. We're, we're trying to thread a needle here of giving Puerto Rico the relief it needs and holding the politicians' feet to the fire who got them into this place in the first place. Puerto Rico's already missed several debt payments, but it's facing its biggest bill, a billion dollars, due July 1st. That's why lawmakers are scrambling for a fix before the island defaults. In Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.